Good evening, friends. Dick Stark for Chesterfield. Chesterfield, made by Liggett and Myers, the first major tobacco company to give you a complete line of quality cigarettes, invites you to join us now as Perry Como, the Fontaine sisters, Mitch Ayers, and the orchestra, and the chorus bring you our annual Christmas program. <laughs> Thank you very much. Is that all further you can go? Come on, somebody push him or you give me this boom here, huh? Thank you. Can you hear me now? Uh, this is, of course, Christmas night and uh, all through your house as it was through mine all day. I'm sure that the Yuletide spirit was with you. Christmas is a holiday for the young, but not only for the young in years, but also the young in heart. Tonight, our boys and girls on the show are our children. For instance, uh, Little Miss Cooley here, <laughs> Denny Deleen, Life Melchior, Judy Deleen, the little apple of my eye, Terry C. And, uh, and of course, my, my right arm, this is Ronald Coleman. Now, we, uh, we have the story of the first Christmas we'd like to do for you, and as you probably detect a, uh, detect a little nasal thing that I have tonight, so I've asked my uh, my son Ronnie here to help me out, and we're going to do a little reading together. Are you ready? Sure. Thank you. You see, he's been leaning on me for quite a few years, and I thought maybe tonight I'd lean on him a little bit, you know? <laughs> Mitchell, please, let's start, for instance, suppose you make believe this is, uh, oh, many, many years ago, a long time before you were born. You're standing on a hillside near a little town of Palestine. We see a man in the distance walking slowly, and uh, he's uh, leading a donkey. His name is Joseph. And riding on the donkey is Mary. They've come a long way, and they're heading for the town near the hillside on which we're standing. Something very special will happen in this town tonight, for this is the little town of Bethlehem. Now let's follow Joseph and Mary into Bethlehem. It's getting dark, and all the rooms at the inn are taken. So they spend the night at the stable. Now I told you something special was going to happen, and it did. A baby boy is born to Mary, and they called him Jesus. They had no baby's crib, so Mary puts little Jesus to sleep in the soft, sweet hay of a manger. Jesus lies in the manger asleep, let's tiptoe back to the hillside near Bethlehem where the shepherds tend their flock. All at once a great light shines in the sky. The shepherds are frightened. Even the animals are hushed and still. Now but then you hear the voice of an angel of the Lord and you're no longer frightened. For the angel brings good news news of a savior born this day. 
news of Christ the Lord. The first Noel, the angel did say, was the servant for shepherds in fields as they lay. Noel, 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 born in the King of So the shepherds ask the angel where to find the Christ child, and the angel tells them to go to the manger. And as they leave, the sky is filled with other angels singing, Glory to God, on earth peace, goodwill to men. The shepherds hurry to the manger, fall on their knees before the baby, and they worship him, for he is Christ the Lord. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come. And now look up in the sky. See that bright star twinkling in the heavens? Far away, three wise men are looking at that star just as we are. And they're using the star as a guide to lead them to the Christ child. Who are these three men who follow the star? Let's find out. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. That's right, boys and girls, the three men are the three wise men. The new star guides them to Bethlehem, to a little baby lying in the manger. There, the three wise men present gifts to the Christ child the first Christmas gifts ever given to anyone. There's a gift of gold, of frankincense, and of myrrh. The three wise men fall on their knees to worship him. A great peace settles on the night, for it is a holy night. Silent night, oh. Well, when you celebrate Christmas, think of Bethlehem, the Virgin Mary, the three wise men, and the birth of the Christ child. 
the first Christmas. Did you like it, Luca? Yes. Did you really? How much you can? Yes. Yes? I love that story. Ronald, thank you very much for helping out. You're Friends, we, uh, we certainly hope that you enjoyed the first Christmas as much as we enjoyed doing it for you. And uh, as it is our privilege every year We'd like very much to join you, or you join us. You are our good friends, and we'd like to join you for one of the greatest prayers ever set to music, the Lord's Prayer. not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Thank you very much, and thank you for letting us share part of your Christmas with you. And now, for all of us here on the show, it was wonderful being with you, and from the people who make Chesterfields, the Liggett and Meyer Tobacco Company, from their 6,000 wholesale distributors and more than 1,300,000 retail Chesterfield dealers, a very, very Merry Christmas from all of us, and good night. Merry Christmas. This is the CBS Television Network.